The day we're taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Sunday, November 28, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Cleveland Browns vs Baltimore Ravens. Cleveland's defense is allowing an average of 22.8 points per game, and overall is fourth in the NFL in total yardage at 316.7 yards per game. The Browns allow an average of 101.4 yards rushing and 215.4 yards passing per game. Cleveland's Anthony Walker is the leading tackler with 73, and the linebacker has one quarterback sack and two passes deflected. The leader in quarterback sacks for Cleveland is Miles Garrett with 13, which also leads the NFL. Three players each have two interceptions to lead the Browns. Baltimore is 18th in the NFL, allowing 23.0 per game. The Ravens' defense allows an average of 88.6 second yards rushing and 281.1 yards passing for a total of 369.7 25th yards. Linebacker Patrick Queen has 54 tackles to lead Baltimore, and linebacker Tyus Boser has 4.5 quarterback sacks to lead the Ravens. Quarterback Anthony Averett has two interceptions to lead the team. Our first betting advice is to pick Cleveland Browns plus 3.5 Cleveland is expected to get some reinforcements back this week. The Browns will be activating running back Kareem Hunt and right tackle Jack Conklin off of injured reserve, according to head coach Kevin Stefanski. Following a strong start to the season, Mayfield has come under fire in recent weeks. The former number one overall pick has completed a career-high 64% of his passes for 2,166 yards, with 10 touchdowns and 6 interceptions this season. While Mayfield is averaging the most yards per attempt of his career, he's taken 27 sacks and owns a career-low 37.1 QBR, according to ESPN. Baltimore got some good news earlier this week, as quarterback Lamar Jackson wasn't listed on the injury report for Sunday night's contest against the Browns. Jackson was a full participant in every practice this week after missing the Ravens' win over Chicago with a non-COVID-19 related illness. While the Ravens will have their starting quarterback under center, there are 10 players currently listed as questionable, including four cornerbacks, which could leave them thin in the secondary. The Ravens have one of the NFL's toughest remaining schedules, with five of their remaining seven games coming against divisional opponents, including two games against both the Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers during that span. Baltimore's two out-of-division games down the stretch will come against none other than the NFC North leading Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams. On defense, Baltimore has surrendered 23.0 points per game, 18th in the NFL. The Ravens have also given up 369.7 yards of total offense, the eighth worst mark in the league. However, they've been stingy against the run, giving up just 88.6 rushing yards per game, good for second in the NFL. Our 2MD betting advice is to pick under 46.5.